Hi, Ron. I thought I'd try something a little bit different, given the fact we're all stuck here in lockdown. I've got the beard and rubbish hair going. Um, so I thought I'd invite you into my flat's uh, tiny kitchen and we'd do some experiments. Um, so this might work, this might not. Um, you might enjoy it, you might not. Who knows? Uh, let's get started. That was probably the worst jump cut ever. Um, yeah, I bought this on Amazon like four years ago. Never got out of the bag. Not good. Let's go. Okay, today's experiment is actually really easy. It's a nice simple one um, that everyone can do and we don't need much for it. Uh, so I'm going to classify this as one star. I don't know what the star rating is going to be going forward, but it's one star. You will need water. Some way of making the water hot. Or you could just use a hot tap. Two packets of Skittles. I mean, you actually only need one, but then you can eat one. So that's good. A small plate or dish. Uh, preferably something where you've got a little bit of a, a groove like this, um, so it's not completely flat. I mean, most plates have a dip, but um, some way where you can pull water on it. You'll also need some way of keeping time, like a stopwatch or um, a Huawei tablet, which actually made the phone contract cheaper for some strange reason. Okay, step one is actually to wash your hands. It's actually got nothing to do with the experiment. Just, there's a global pandemic going on, you should wash your hands for 20 seconds. I'm not going to make that watch that, and I can't really do this one-handed. Step two. So now you've got your plate, your stopwatch, your skittles, all the water, your hands are washed. Um, you can open the bag of skittles, okay, because your hands are washed. You can have a couple and attempt to film a video with your mouth full, for a bad manner. And uh, what you can do is you're going to uh, line uh, the outside of the plate uh, with the skittles. Um, you can try and do a specific pattern, you can try and group up colours, um, but some way of ring of skittles around the outside. Now you've arranged the uh, skittles around the plate, uh, that actually took way longer than I was expecting, um, I'm a bit clumsy like that. Um, you already do the experiment. So uh, step three, I'm going to pour the water into the middle of the dish um, and the water will pull out and uh, submerge partially submerge the skittles into that and we should start to see an effect once i've done that i'm going to start the stopwatch this is where we're going to make it a little bit more scientific okay um you know if you if you're a little bit younger you might want to just do it at first just to see the effect um but we're going to take it that extra level um i'm going to do it first with just cold tap water um if you've got a thermometer great you could uh, measure the temperature of that to make it even uh, more rigorous so let's pour it in Okay, and start the stopwatch. Okay, it shouldn't be too long before we start to see an effect. Um, and it's quite a pretty one, and this is why uh, some of you will have done it with uh, me in the classroom. So, when uh, the colours that you deem to have met and covered the whole uh, inner circle, okay, then you can stop the stopwatch. And you have got a measure of how long it, uh, it took for the colours to diffuse across. Um, it's going to be quite subjective, okay? This is one problem with this experiment. And see, there's just a little bit of white left in the middle, okay? And I think I'm going to stop it there. Okay, so that was about two minutes, two minutes, three seconds for cold water. Now, let's repeat our experiment, as all good scientists should, um, eating a few more skills along the way, but this time with slightly warmer water. Okay, we're all set up to go again. Um, I haven't been totally scientifically rigorous here because um, I haven't paid particular attention to making sure that I've got exactly the same number of skittles and exactly the same pattern, but I think we can get away with it. Um, so, I'm going to repeat the experiment. This time I've got uh, water from the hot tap, so it's a little bit warmer. Again, if you have a thermometer, you could actually measure the temperature. Uh, let's see how this one does.
And again, I could have been even more scientifically rigorous and made sure I add a set volume of water to, uh, to the um, skittles and see if that affects it. And hopefully we should be seeing that effect already starting to uh, happen a little bit quicker than the previous one. Let's check back in at the end. Just a little bit of white left. And, oh, low battery, that's good. Oh, I don't want power saving mode. Oh, great. Even the best scientists mark up, don't they? And time. Look at that. Wonderful. Well, that's going to stay in the edit. <laughs> okay, so to explain what exactly had gone on there, uh, I'm going to attempt to transition to uh, my explainer. So why exactly did the skittles spread out the colour? And that's all to do with the key important process of diffusion. And that's the key word today really, diffusion. So what is diffusion? Well the definition is actually the movement of particles from a high concentration to a low concentration down a concentration gradient. And that's quite difficult and quite formal. Uh, I like to try and explain it and uh, get the key concept across by thinking of, it, thinking of it as spreading out, where there's crucially no energy required. This process is actually really useful. Our body uses it to get oxygen into our bloodstream and carbon dioxide out of our bloodstream. Plants use it. Um, all living things rely on this process to get nutrients and other pr um, products into them and waste products out of them without using any energy. So let's break down that definition. What actually is a high concentration and what is a low concentration? So a high concentration is where I've got lots of particles all bunched together. Okay. A low concentration is where they're a little bit more spread out. So I might look something like that. Okay. So in terms of the skittles, at the start of the uh, experiment, we had all of the colour particles concentrated in the skittle and then they spread out through the water. Of course, I haven't actually drawn the water in there and that actually makes the, the picture a little bit more complicated where I have all of the skittle particles bunched up and slowly they spread out. So how does this actually take place? Because I said it requires no energy and that actually relies on the structure inside. In a solid, the particles are in rigid uh, rows and they do not move. They have strong forces between them. In a liquid, they're still close together, but they can move about. In a gas, they're really spread out. Crucially, in a liquid and gas, which actually scientists collectively call fluids, the particles are always moving about. So if I take a liquid, okay, the particles are always moving about. So, if I leave them like this, Okay, as the solid skittle particles dissolve into the wa water, they become liquid, they can move about, and this spreads about and spreads the colour. So that's how we get those pretty patterns, and it's all due to diffusion. If you like the experiment and you're looking to maybe take that even further, you could, instead of just using two temperatures of water, you could uh, boil the water in the kettle and see uh, an even higher temperature, or even um, water which has got some ice in it, which would therefore be at zero. Uh, other things that you could try is to use different colours of skittles, use only one colour and see uh, if it varies by the colour, um, and therefore uh, the solubility of uh, the colouring of the particular skittle in the water. Um, apparently as well, if you get a clear um, petri dish style uh, thing where you can actually go down to eye level and see the skittles the colors actually go at different levels so you could investigate that so there's lots of things to do with this even though on the surface is actually quite a nice simple experiment okay so that's uh, that's it for now um, I hope you liked uh, my first attempt at uh, doing one of these experiments at home and that you give it a try um, if you did like it uh, let me know um, and we'll see if we can uh, do some more going forwards um, but thank you and uh, stay safe